work cell is commonly thought of as a U-shaped or C-shaped cell. Truthfully speaking, though, they can be designed in a variety of ways to fit your specific needs. One important thing to remember is that the cells should not be designed in a mini-functional layout. They need to be organized by the flow of your process. This will ensure that the cell is process-based and not operational-based. While there are many different shapes, cells are most commonly organized in straight line, I-shaped layouts, L-shaped layouts, U-shaped layouts, C-shaped layouts, and sometimes even S-shaped layouts. Some things to keep in mind when designing your cells are what size are your equipment, what is the shape of the equipment, is the item in constant production or not, and is the material used on the cell difficult to move. Cells should be able to flow freely upstream and downstream and workers should be trained on the entire cell. While cells may require a Kaizen event to set up, they will also yield some massive advantages. Some of those advantages include walking distance and transportation muda are reduced, work and process is reduced, the communication of people increases, line balancing of the cell, and the entire value stream becomes much easier and lead times drastically go down. Keep these benefits in mind as you build your cells, and we'll see you in the next lecture.